Hello again. Well, a sad day for me. Today, one of my toys just gave up. <laughs> you know, this inverter, it's a Sun GTIL with limiter, 1000 watts. It was up and running very nice for almost two years. And uh, when I checked my software application in the morning, today 0 0.03 watts, no production. I was thinking, okay, maybe it's something wrong with my connections and I went to see the cable up on the roof. I never thought that it can be something inside here. And when I checked the cables here, they've been warm. Not hot, nothing smelled, nothing burned, no smell of hot electronics, I may say. Of course, my first reaction is to take out the wires. You can see here, it was a huge flame in the moment when I took out the wires. Luckily, the power from the solar panels are not rushing the things. It's not a burst of power. If you have a battery, let's say with 40 volts, and you want to take 20 amps in a fraction of a second, it will blow up, you know, it, it will burn everything. Not with the solar panel. So all the energy from the solar panel just dissipate in the system, you know, into the wires and into the internal resistance of the panels themselves, you know. And this is nice because it's not so dangerous. You, you are not burning up, you know. It's not a, a burst of energy, like I said before. That proves that the internal fuse, I remember that from the manual, 40 amps or something, doesn't blow up. This piece of wire it can have like maybe 10 amps. And look here what's happened in this situation. You see, instant instant blowing so i'm really curious to open it up to see what's inside there maybe it's fixable at the input of this inverter we have a huge capacitor and maybe that one it's gone it's very possible in fact it was a lot of uh, hot summer days and uh, maybe the ventilation was the problem or something but anyway i'm helping this with an extra fan here which is blowing constantly anyway the point is that now i have to take it out and to check the things and by the way let me show you what it's on the display here it's saying starting voltage too low when i saw that i said oh, okay maybe it's just a connection problem but it's looking like it's more than this okay so let me take it out from the wall and we'll go upstairs in my office for a proper expertise this is my wife and she's worried about the sun you know getting into the car okay thank you honey you are great so I'm taking out the limiter. You know, this is the limiter sensor. This is so great about this uh, kind of inverter because it's always listening the needs of the house. So it's limiting the output power to a certain level. Doesn't interfere with the energy provider, you know, and the local uh, companies and stuff like that. Here we are, the operation table. Yeah, it's pretty dusty. A good idea is to have a cap always around for having all the screws in the same place. Maybe these two here. Let's see. I'm not sure about this, but let's see. Okay, so this is out, but I can't reach Oh yeah, okay, so that's the story. You have to take the, the top and here I have some more. Okay, another one. Be really careful because inside there are capacitors and uh, they can be loaded with uh, high voltage from the mains. The top should go out with the display and the other stuff. So and I have a connector here and I'm gonna disconnect this for now. Even have a battery in here and that's for sure for remember all the settings and the other stuffs. Huh. And look here what I have told you people. These are 30 and 30 fuses. They obviously didn't blow up but of course it's understandable because my panels can deliver only 1300 watts okay where should i start capacitors 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 and these are 2000 
263 volts. Do you think I'm so lucky to have only those capacitors burnt? It doesn't smell like burnt. We have some thermic pads here. Good. The transformers or the coils here are in perfect condition. I don't see anything dangerous or these are the ports here. We can take them out for now. External, internal. Okay, let me put some numbers here. This is one because I want to clear this area. Well, it's very nice done. You can see here with silicon all around, you know, to to keep them tied. All right, there you are. It does under this silicone or something so I couldn't see it and okay pam pam well I think these are diodes yes four diodes here well this this one here have a really low resistance this capacitor okay it's looking like I got nothing else to do I can't do anything else but to take them one by one out. Okay, this is done. Let me let me have this out before you know all this silicone. Let's measure this guy first. This one was kind of low resistance, huh? What do you think? Do you think we are lucky to have only these guys? No way. Yeah, this is good too. Do we still have the short here? Of course we have it. Yeah, of course. I'm afraid it's a MOSFET. How can we check that without having all these guys out, huh? Maybe I should do some real rude. Diodes are very okay. So here we have a problem. All the capacitors are okay. Well, I thought one is in short and of course, now we should have the same problem here. All right. Yes, it is. So next step is, of course, what else, but all these uh, transistors here. I think the, these are MOSFET transistors. I have to take them one by one and to see what's happening. Okay. So I was really hoping for a capacitor in short, but it's looking like we have another problem here. So. Uh, I just cut the, the PCB before taking out the all the transistors and let me check this row of transistors first. I really hope that I have this kind of transistors in between my stuffs. Then I can replace them. If not, I have to wait for next week to order and and the things will be okay. So these are those two MOSFETs here. MOSFET transistors, you see one and two. Obviously, no more short. Let's see once again, at the input, 3.8 kilo ohms, yes. And uh, the story is that now, I have to find a replacement for these guys. Let's see. Short, short, short. Absolutely dead. The capacitors will go back in place. Uh, of course. Now, let's see. Okay, people, it's looking like that's it for today. No parts. I can fix this uh, 
properly but anyway what I can do today is to have back the capacitor in place and uh, to add some extra thermal paste to all the other uh, transistors and uh, I have to wait for next week to order some new parts and to fix the machine. Thank you for now, I hope it's useful, please write uh, your comments, please like and of course subscribe and uh, let's have some fun, <laughs> yeah, okay, bye bye.